When I start to consider how commuting to work during a zero carbon future looks, the first thing that comes to mind are electric cars, buses, trains, even e-scooters. But for all you thrill seekers out there, today we're gonna to explore electric motorcycles. Designed and built here in Australia, we're here to check out Savage. These bikes look absolutely incredible. Thanks man, I appreciate it. Tell me a bit more about yourself, what got you into this? This is honestly something I've always wanted to do. So when I was 14, I dreamed of building a large automotive business. While I was at uni, I learned about identifying a gap in the market. I was already into bikes, so it just kind of worked out well. I can imagine the challenges you must have faced going from concept to this. It's been a few. Can you talk me through those? Obviously, you've got to build a brand you've got to build the product. But then to actually build one of these a day, which is what we're aiming for, you have to have an entire supply chain ecosystem that works on time and on budget. And so, you know, we have an amazing team to make all of those things happen and it just wouldn't be possible without them, so. How long did it take you to go from concept to build? About 95% of the bike is done by us in-house. So yep. wheels, axles, nuts, it's all kind of done in-house. All the vehicle onboard software, all of the cloud back-end infrastructure is done by the team. But we've also done it on an absolute shoestring budget because we had to prove ourselves every step of the way. One thing that I love about these is you can basically ride it straight into your living room where you want to keep it, right? And you've yep. got no risk of fumes or oil. You would actually think there's a lot less parts that there isn't. There's still 350 odd individual components that go into the bike. Yep. Um, the big difference is our motor doesn't have a thousand parts like an internal combustion engine would. It's simpler from that perspective, but there is so much engineering that goes into it anyway, so. We went for a, a timeless aesthetic. So timelessness was really key as, as our design brief because we didn't want something that would be outdated in a few years. We want something that we could sell in 20, 30, 50 years time that still looks nice. Tell me about the actual feel in terms of riding the bike. One of the real things that people don't really understand is just how fast it is at speed. So even when you're at 80 kilometers an hour and you twist the throttle, you just go. There's no shifting down, revving up, trying to match the revs. It's like you're already gone on this bike by the time you've changed gears on a petrol bike. So it's just, it really is mind boggling. How long does it take to charge? It takes about four and a half hours to charge on a three kilowatt charging system. If you're just plugging into a regular wall outlet, you're probably looking at closer to seven to eight hours. Yeah, wow, that's pretty good. And in terms of range? The Alpha will do about 200 kilometers combined city and freeway. If you're just on the freeway, you're looking at about 150. Well, I can't wait to see what's underneath the shell. Yeah, can't wait to show you. Awesome, let's have a look. I've always been interested in technology and how technology develops. That's something that sort of, you know, it clicks with me. People complain about, oh, they're too quiet. Personally, it's a different, it's a different noise. And I, I like the noise that the electric bikes make. It's, it's like a jet engine. The technology is going to develop and it's going to become an even greater experience. workshop looks amazing. Thanks. These bikes look incredible. They're a little bit naked right now. A little bit. Tell me about what I'm seeing. Inside the, the big aluminium case, we've got a battery pack, the inverter, some power electronics, instrument cluster control, the vehicle control unit, battery management system. It's, it's a very, very densely packed unit. So Dennis, who is this bike actually designed for? Who's the ideal rider? You know, we have from primary producers that live in rural areas all the way through to like CEOs and CTOs that live in the city that want to use it for commuting. If I wanted to buy one of these, what would be the rough price point for this bike? We've got two variants, the Alpha and the Delta. The Alpha starts at $26,990 and the Delta starts at $19,990. Which is incredibly good. We, we try and make it as competitive as we can, yeah. Well, I'm almost convinced. <laughs> now I've just got to jump on and have a ride. Well, let's do it, <laughs> let's do it. Give it a go. Ride an electric bike before you actually eliminate it. Keep on 